Okay, and now would be a good time to save if you haven't already done that. It's a good idea to save every few minutes uh, and always save a copy. Don't save over your uh, previous scene. Uh, that way you can always go back if you need to. Okay, so let's go back into the uh, back view here. All right, we have a plate that kind of goes on the side of the steps um, and you can see it's a little off in this view. All right, let's maybe hide the stair for now. And let's maybe actually hide everything besides the tank. All right, I'm just gonna grab that and hide unselected here. Actually, let's uh, do control Y first so we don't hide the blueprints, then we'll hide select it. Okay, so uh, this plate kind of curves around the tank and uh, because it's a little off here, um, let's just maybe try to block out a shape here that we need. All right, so I'm gonna grab a circle here. We'll do this plate, uh, plate out of splines. Okay, so back in the uh, shapes panel into circle now let's draw that out for now. Okay. And we want to make sure it's centered to the tank, so we'll just align it. Okay, so all three again, and okay. And you can see it's a little uh, rough on the circle, so we'll go into the interpolation settings and we'll check off adaptive. Okay, and that's going to smooth it out as much as possible. All right, and we also need to take the radius down a little bit here. We want it to be just a little bit bigger than the tank. So let's do maybe 122. Let's view 123. Okay, I think that should work. Okay, and I'm just gonna maybe move this up a little bit just for now so that we can uh, kind of follow the blueprint here to make things easier. So let's grab the tank and that uh, circle spline there. We'll unhide all for a second. And we'll just select the pieces of the uh, tank here so we can move it all up as one. Okay, so grab the two bands, the gas cap, the slap piece there, the stair, or the step, and the tank. Okay, so all seven objects. Then we'll do control I and hide select it again. Okay. So now we'll just grab all these and we'll just move it up so that we get a better idea of uh, the shape of this plate. Okay, I'm just gonna move it up to about there. Okay, we'll model it uh, here and then we'll just move it down afterwards. Okay, so now we can just grab that spline, do control I again, hide select it, and we can just start blocking out the uh, spline plate here. Okay, this is gonna be a little bit hard to see again because of the white blueprints. So let's grab a line here. Okay, we're just gonna start up here at the top uh, on the circle right here. So click there, we'll go up just a little bit and then we'll come across and if you hold shift it'll snap straight okay so click let go of shift and then come back down fold the same angle and we'll just go right over to the uh, circle here okay so click then right click to end okay just like that and now that we have the basic shape blocked out we grab the circle there we'll convert it to edible spline Let's drop this down to the vertex and we'll go down and find refine here and this will just let you add uh, verts in. Okay, so we'll go up here to where this uh, comes down and we'll just click a vert in there on the circle. We'll do the same thing over here. Click one right there. Okay, turn off refine there. We'll go to segment, grab all those segments we don't need and delete them out. Okay, and we'll go back in vertex. Actually, let's uh, turn off vertex. We'll select the line piece there. And we'll just make sure that everything's lining up. Okay, we want to have this vert as close to the uh, end of this other spline as we can get. Okay, so like that. Same thing at the top. Just pull this one down until it matches up. And then we'll turn off vertex. Go down to attach, attach the circle to it. Actually, let's undo that. Let's uh, select the circle first and then we'll attach it to the line. And the reason why you want to do it that way is because uh, it'll keep the interpolation settings on the one you have selected before you attach. Okay, so if we attach it this way, it's going to keep that as adaptive. Whereas if we had the uh, line selected first and then attach the circle, it would make the uh, it would take adaptive off on the circle if that makes any sense. Okay, so I want to make sure that we have it as smooth as possible. 
Okay, so now we'll go to vertex. We just need to make a weld right here on these two verts. Uh, so we go down to the weld threshold here. We'll pump that up a bit and hit weld. Oops, let's actually undo that. I think I forgot to move the spline over. Okay, so I'm just going to go right click on the um, undo button and we'll go back to attach and undo. And I forgot to move them over. You can see they're not lined up at all here. Okay, so let's grab that line. And we'll pull that over to where the circle is. Let's see this in the top view. <clears throat> okay, you want to make sure these are right on top of each other. Like that, before we attach them together, else we won't be able to extrude it properly. Okay, so now they're on top of each other, we'll go back and we'll attach them together. All right, so select the circle first and attach it to the line. And then we'll weld up the pairs here. Okay, so those two there. Weld those up. And the two down here on this corner. Weld those up. Okay, and we can also center the pivot now. Alright, so let's just hide on selected here and we'll just work on the one piece by itself. Okay, so let's convert this variable poly now. Actually, let's put a shell on it first. Put our shader on that one. And we don't need to uh, make it too thick. Let's maybe do two on the outer amount. Okay, and now we'll uh, collapse it down to edit poly. And to just uh, to avoid any problems uh, with uh, artifacting when we render, which sometimes you get if you do extruded spines like this, I'm just going to add a couple of segments across the the big end gone on each side. Okay, if you've seen any of my other tutorials, I've done this on uh, quite a few pieces before. Okay, so what we want to do here is go into the top view, go to protect. So I'm going to grab the bottom verts here and delete them. So we're left with our one plane again. And this just makes it easier to uh, add edges. We don't have to do it on both sides. Okay, so we'll go into the back view. Actually, and let's just go into vertex. We'll go down to cut. Okay, I'm also going to go up to snaps and turn that on. And just make sure you have vertex selected there. Okay, we'll just cut a couple additional edges here. Okay, so we're going to connect those two verts up. Let's maybe connect this one up to this corner. And we'll just cut a couple of these uh, across to the back edge. And you don't need to do every single vert. The more you have, the better uh, uh, the result will be at the end. But uh, if you just add a few, it should be enough to uh, prevent any errors when we render. Okay, let's also maybe just do these guys while we're at it. Might as well do this one. Okay, and that should be enough edges. We could probably connect this one up to the top. Okay, that's good. All right, so we'll turn off cut there, turn off our snaps, and we'll just uh, put our shell back on to get the thickness, and the edges will be on both sides now. And I might just make that a little bit thicker. Let's do 2.5. And now we'll uh, convert it to edible poly to collapse the shell. Okay, and we'll just chamfer these edges down. All right, let's go into polygon here. Let's grab all the polygons. Go into the top view. Just gonna hold down Alt and drag through the center polygons to deselect them. And then we'll control click edge. And in the back view, we'll hold down Alt and we'll just uh, deselect the cross edges here that we don't need selected. Okay, so let's work your way down. So we just have the outline selected around the whole thing. Okay, we'll just knock this off a little bit. So another chamfer. Take the amount down a bit. Let's do about 0.35 or so. Okay, and then we'll select the bottom corners here. Okay, so just the center edge on both those corners. Let's grab this one as well here at the back. And the two top ones. Okay, and it looks like we have some kind of uh, problem here. Okay, we must have missed a uh, weld there, so I'm just going to go over to target weld. I'm just going to weld this down to this point, and the same thing on this side. Okay, just check to make sure the right number of verts are there. And we still have a couple on top of each other. Okay, we have two there, so I'm just going to weld those up and two here. 
And that was just caused by the cut. I must have uh, missed the vert when I cut it across. Okay, so let's go back to edge and we'll grab that center edge now, as well as this front one. Do a loop on those. Let's maybe get this one as well. We'll loop that and then we'll just deselect this cross edge here that we don't need. All right, so we're just gonna deselect those and we'll deselect these ones here. Okay, so just the three on each corner, as well as this one here. All right, and we'll just chamfer that the same amount. Okay, that should be good for the plate. All right, so let's unhide everything. And we'll just figure out where we need to position this. Let's push it over in the top view, right to the end of the step. And we'll just set it against the outside edge. Okay, like that. Okay, let's also shift drag one to the other end as a copy and we'll position this one the same way. Just like that. Okay, and now we'll grab these slats here as well as the outer piece and we'll just make a copy of this. Okay, so let's shift drag that down as a copy. And we'll just line it up here at the bottom. Okay, just make sure that it's not sticking into the tank. You can see it's overlapping there, so it's going to move it back a little bit until it clears. Okay. Something like that should be good. Okay, so I think that'll take care of the two steps. We still have a few bolts to put on. Uh, we have a, a bar that we have to put on the side as well as uh, a couple of pieces up here on the bands, so we'll do that now.